YouTube welcome back to another video with the house money investor channel in today's video we're gonna go over uh, some stock gains I got some dividends uh, some uh, stock I sold as well as we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the stocks I own which is about uh, 1296 stocks so almost 1300 stocks in total and I'm also gonna go over a, a few stock picks with you guys not gonna go too much in depth in detail because uh, this video will be super long because of um, you know all the stuff I'm bringing you today if you like this type of content, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I do analyze stocks seven days a week, so I'm constantly bringing you guys stock picks. There's a link in the below. Uh, you can get free four shares from Weeble, uh, two valued up to $3,800. You can get a free share from um, Moomoo and also Robinhood, and you can get $30 from M1 Finance by using the affiliate, affiliate link. Um, basically the strategy that I'm using in this channel I started back in June which I call house money which is me deploying money into the market for a set number of days pulling out my capital and leaving only gains in the market now I started this in June and I've accumulated over twelve and a half thousand dollars of free share uh, currently I have 12 brokerages that I display on the channel with hundred percent transparency I show my buys my sales my gains and my losses all my deposits all my withdrawals and the portfolio values uh, all together sitting around 41 close to forty two thousand dollars now I started swing trading about 32 days ago um, so now I'm at the point I put maybe 13 to twenty eight thousand dollars into the market somewhere in the ballpark and um, you know now I'm at the point of selling all my uh, taking all my principal out the market and leaving my gain so those are the videos that I will be dropping here for the next 31 days is me you know taking my gains out and then i do an update video on how much i profited and how much i profit in total so let's jump right into it this here is in the uh robin Hood account just some dividends i got there on the 15th uh the biggest one for that day was wpc for 24 cent then we got a few more for four cent three cent two cent you might be saying to yourself these are small dividends which like i said i own over 1300 stocks and they are all they are all free house money stocks uh, valued around twelve and a half thousand. So of course they're, they're not very big positions. A lot of them are just fractionals. Uh, I do have some old shares positions as well that I've built up. Um, but these dividends do add up. I made over three, almost four hundred dollars last year in dividends, and I'm not even uh, particularly a dividend investor. Which I do buy dividend stocks. I like the the, the payments. Uh, you know, monthly, quarterly, and annually. Um, so I do buy dividend stocks. I mean, if it's a good stock, I'm gonna buy it. Where there's dividend value, you know, growth. It could be EV, it could be international stocks, it can be ETFs, IPO, SPACs. I really don't discriminate. As long as the fundamentals look good, the balance sheets look good, and some I believe in, and you know they got a good team behind them, good board members, and you know great analyst ratings, then I'm gonna get into those positions. Uh, then we got CHA, CAH uh, paid a two, ten, two cent dividend. And by the way, I got all my dividends on drip, so they all do reinvest, which will compound over time you know pretty massively and as i swing trade every you know 30 to 90 days adding to these positions um that's going to help it compound compound even more uh this is the stock i sold yesterday which was lazr here i purchased one dollars worth of uh laser in the Robinhood account um that was because i sold one share here out of my public account which you know I only put a dollar in the stock, so it only gained 16 cents, which is almost about a 25% increase. But since it was a very, very small position, I only gained 16 cents. So I went ahead and ran that up to a dollar and spent that dollar here and then took out, you know, my dollar 16 out of public. Uh, then we have a stock pick here, which is PPG. As you can see here, um, you know, it didn't have a great uh, day on Friday. But this is something I hold long term. I'm currently up 0.47% in the position. Um, it usually gains about 11% a year. It also pays a nice dividend of 1.38%. has a very nice PE ratio of 33.47. Um, very strong analyst ratings from 27 analysts. You got a 52% buy, 41% uh, hold. Uh, the company sports a, a device customer base leading to smoother earnings in times of industrial uh, specific shutdowns. More than 25% of PPG sales come from emerging regions, a factor that should help their um, drive gro growth and develop around the world, you know, at a constant rate. Uh, 
consolidation has characterized the coding industry during the past decade and PBG is in a position to capture additional share as consolidation continues. Uh, they've also had great EPS. This is going to give you exposure to uh, materials. And basically they engage in the manufacturing and distribution of uh, coating specialty uh, materials and glass products. Uh, they do like refinishing, they do aerospace, protective and marine work, uh, alg agriculture coating businesses and things of that uh, such. They do uh, automotive OEM, industrial coatings, packaging coatings and specialty coatings and materials uh, and they have a materials business. So a very nice play here into the uh, materials market. Uh, so some I already own but I'm going to try to swing trade and build my position. Then we got ticker SWK. This is Stanley Black and Decker. Also something I already hold long term. I'm currently down in my position 7.71%. Uh, but this thing was beaten down during the pandemic, you know, about 60%. So that's pretty much why I'm down. Um, it did recover, you know, and finished the year up 2%. But it typically grows, you know, about 25% a year. I mean, typically grows about 15% a year. So that's why I haven't seen that growth. So I, typically I would have grew about eight percent, but I'm not worried about it. Black and Decker is a very good company, uh, very non products, very cu uh, loyal customer base. They also pay a dividend of 1.61 percent, nice PE ratio of 28, um, strong analyst holdings of a 63 percent hold, 37 percent buy. They've been killing EPS as well, and they engage in the provision of uh, power and hand tools and related accessories. Uh, they got products and services and equipment for oil and gas and infrastructure applications, uh, commercial electronic security and monitoring systems, health solutions, and uh, mechanical access solutions. Uh, they act, they do like uh, tools and storage, uh, industrial and security, you know, like power tools, hand tools and accessories and stuff like that. Um, so definitely a nice company, nice exposure to the industrials, uh, materials market. Um, I'm pretty sure you send their products like their drills and all that type of stuff. Then we got VRTX. This is a pharmaceutical play. Uh, pharmaceuticals are super hot right now. Um, they can be a little bit volatile, but uh, if you select the good ones, you're going to get nice nice gains. This one gains about 20% a year. It's not a dividend payer, but, it, but it's a growth stock. Um, it's undervalued at the moment. Uh, low P ratio of 22. 28 analyst ratings. You got 82% buy. 18% hold and their uh, combination therapies have lengthy patients protecting the profitable uh, portfolios from generics they also been doing very well on uh, their EPS's and they basically engage in business of discovering develop manufacturing and commercializing small molecule drugs for patients with serious diseases so you know, and infectious diseases as well, as, as well, and bacterial infections, immune diseases, uh, you know, cancer, inflammatory, bowel disease, all kinds of different um, things is what they're into making medicine. And their medicines, you know, are so good that the generic brands just can't, you know, they just can't compete with them. So definitely a nice pharmaceutical play there. Then we got DSI. This is the iShares 400 S, uh, social ETF. Uh, this thing grows about 20% a year. Nice dividend of 1.20%. Decent PE ratio of 39. And basically this tracks uh, 400 companies deemed to have positive environmental, social, and governance characteristics um, by the uh, MSCI. So definitely a, a nice positive play here. I love ETFs. They give you a lot of diversification. They're usually, uh, you know, don't have a lot of volatility and don't fluctuate very much. And most of the time, if they're not a growth ETF, they're going to pay a nice dividend and you'll get that basket of stocks, you know, out of 400 stocks um, with great social aspects and doing great things in the world. The top ones are going to be there provided by iShares. Uh, then we got NVS. Oh, sorry about that. This one here also is a nice growth play. It only grows about 3% a year, but it pays a nice dividend of 2.12%. It's undervalued. 30 uh, P ratios of 30 uh, 25 analyst ratings, you got 68 hold, uh, 68 buy, 24% hold, and they're, uh, they hold shares of uh, Roche, you know, that could generate over $12 billion, given its options for bigger acquisitions, um, 
So definitely a, a nice bullish statement there. Great EPS. And this is a pharmaceutical company in the healthcare se se sector as well. And engaged in the development, manufacturing, and marketing of healthcare products. Um, so like personal scan devices and all types of other things, you know, that the uh, medical sector is going to need. And with the new technology coming out and, you know, the personal handheld devices being able to, you know, basically uh, scan yourself, talk to your doctor over the phone, not having to go into the office, you know, visits and waste money on, you know, office visits, things of that such. Uh, these type of products are going to boom and technology advances so fast that, you know, who knows what they're going to come out with next. But right now they have like, you know, CAT scans. Um, you can do the, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but where when somebody's pregnant, you scan, you know, you rub their belly with the gel and then put the thing on there. You can see the baby and stuff like that, whatever it's called. But yeah, they have devices like that, stuff of that nature. Um, so very, very good um, growth potential here in this play. Then we got ticker DXCM, uh, Dexcom. This one here grows about 60% a year. Um, not a dividend player, but a great nice, uh, nice growth play. Uh, 21 analysts got it a 76 buy, 14% hold. And their uh, next gen G7 product is expected to be significant le significantly less expensive, offering a thinner profile and longer uh, sensor wearing than their G6. Uh, Medicare's decision to reimburse for the G6 is a favorable development for Dexcom as the private payers often use Medicare as the benchmark for reimbursement policies. While there is little detail on Dexcom's um, initiative with Viral, uh, I think that there's great potential to apply tech expertise in data analysis with um, data intensive health management for diabetes. The part their partnership, you know, could put Dexcom at a uh, you know a step ahead of the rivals. They also have very good EPS ratings for this company, um, and this is basically going to give you exposure to the healthcare supply sector. And basically, they're a medical device manufacturing company. Uh, they engage in design, development, and commercial commercial commercialization of, of glucose monitoring systems for ambulatory uses by people with diabetes um, so definitely a, a, a big market there and a lot of uh, potential for revenue as well okay and we're gonna look at uh, really quickly some of my positions some of these I screenshot I can't screen record some of the brokerages because they just display my information everywhere but anyway this is the Webull account valued up over $1,800 it's up over $300 up over 21% as you can see I got 43 positions uh, we got Spotify is up $59, up 22%. We got uh, Plug Power is up 665%. We got Square up $47. MedFast up $43. IIPR up $33. Uh, ICLN's up 116%. Uh, MGC's up $14. Defiance 5G's up 33%. Sig Mergers up 55%. We got Tattoo Chef up 62%. Jamaya Jamia, however you want to say, it's up 23%. Nano Dimensions up 113%. Uh, 5G is up 16%. SAR is up 26%. MP Materials is up 12%. Open Doors up 14%. Uh, New Residential is up 40%. OGI is up 30%. Uh, we got ARLP up 70%. LTC Properties up 5%. XJR is up 4%. Plantineers up 2%. AT&T is up 1%. Uh, Autria Groups. Uh, up 0.76 NLY is up 3% Stag Industrials is up 0.66 PEI is up 7% Hylion's up 0.24% uh, BBEU is up 0.11% And then the losers I have at the moment are uh, AMCI down 27 cent HDMV down 30 cent SNPE down 30 cents Pfizer is down 44 cents Nokia is down 52 cents iRobo is down 53 cents U-Bot is down 68 cents Um EWZ is down 81 cents. AMC is down $1.06. GDX is down $144. Uh, Fisker is down $1.57. BBN is down $1.90. Golden Nuggets is down $3.31. X Fleet is down $3.51. So X Fleet will be my biggest loser there. But, you know, as you can see, the losers aren't very big. And I'm winning on the portfolio. I'm up. So it's always a good thing. Then we have the Moomoo account valued up over $1,000. Uh, $1, $1, uh, top holding is BP up. 
Next Gen Energy is up 91%. GM is up 16%. Bank of America is up 13%. Bentley Systems is up 7%. TC Energy is up 7%. Uh, Enbridge is up 9%. USRT is up 3%. Main Capital is up 3%. Uh, THNQ is up 2%. SPEM is up 1%. Uh, FNF is up 0.54%. LEMB is up 0.29%. And then my losers will be JMST down a penny. EAGG down 4 cent. Uh, FLIR is down 34 cent. Then we got BNDC. Oh, I, I didn't even catch those in the screen. Whoa. Sorry about that. BNDC is down under a dollar. Plantineer is down under a dollar. Uh, DB goes down under a dollar. INDA is down under a dollar. EWZ is down under a dollar. Intel is down under a dollar. So is SPYG. Uh, Gush is down a dollar something. Arc F is down a dollar and some change. Coco is down a dollar and some change. MSP is down a dollar and some change. Uh, BSG Foods is down a dollar and some change. Uh, GDX is down two dollars. Store Capital is down two dollars twenty three cents. Quantum Scape is down two forty six. Uh, Global Silver ETFs down three thirty seven. Groupon is down three thirty eight. Multiplan is down four oh seven. MP Materials is down five forty three. Uh, GDXU is down six oh four. Uh, Romeo Power is down. $14.92 and then my biggest loser is Hyleon down $35.57 and then this here is my Vanguard account it's valued up over $12,000 uh, the biggest gainer is IBBJ at the moment up uh, $3 then we got BBJ up $0.42 cent. FNOV up $0.12 cent. DFEB up 7% then we got DNOV down $0.04 cent. SPHD down $0.28 cent. IDLV is down 32 cent. BBEU is down 43 cent. Uh, then we got PSTH up three dollars and fifty cent. Um, AT&T is down 28 cent. Bloom Energy is down two dollars and eight cents. MPLN is down 357. And then this here will be the Charles Schwab account. We got Aflac, which is up uh, 46 dollars and 48. I'm sorry, is up a dollar 67. Then we got Bank of America up two dollars and 85 cent. Comcast is down 282. Camel Soup is down 77 cent. Cisco is up $1.45. Delta Airlines is down 11 cent. Duke Realty is down 16 cent. eBay is up $1.62. Um, ELVT, which is a penny stock, is up $10.80. Ticker ETTX is down 40 cent. Uh, Fang is up $9.98. Then we got FITB up $4.56. Flare is up $10.08. General Mills is up 4 cent. General Motors is up 840. Uh, Hamrell Foods is down 176. HWM is down 22 cent. Intel is up 733. International Paper is down $1.03. Coca Cola is down 88 cent. Leg is down 31 cent. Southwest Airlines is up 66 cent. MGM Resorts is down $1.67. Altria Group is up 61 cent. Realty Income is down 48 cent. Pfizer is down 42 percent. AT&T is down 3 percent. Uh, TAP is up. 648 Twitter's down 51 cent. United Airlines is uh, up 59 cent. Valero is up a dollar 32. VTR is up 232. Verizon's down 30 cent. And Walgreens is up 881. Uh, then we got Wells Fargo up 219. Exxon is up 614. We'll go ahead and look at the uh, some of my other brokerages real quick. If they'll load up them out here in california so the service isn't all that great so we'll scroll up this is like 400 stocks in this portfolio as you can see i have over six thousand dollars i'm up over sixteen hundred dollars um up 35 percent uh top holding is clean spark up 40 dollars neo is up 26 crowd strikes up 26 blinks up 26 homes up 20 tesla's up 19 tna is up 18 hibl is up 16 uh twist and wsm is up 15 CRISPR and Plug are up 12. Ford, SSYX, and APX, and JP Morgan's up 11. Uh, Lemonade, COF are up 10. RG, DVY, and Abby are up 8. Uh, Pins, EME, are up 7. Allstate, uh, Grow Generations, TQQ, Fiverr, Upwork, THO, Team are up 6. Uh, Nets, SNE, Chewy, KMX, Has, uh, Papa John's all up five. Then we got Hylion Ice DTD ALB GP CPRI all up four. Arc K 
ICHR, Target, Wynn Resorts, Honeywell, Tattoo Chef, Caterpillar, Levi, Fazly, all up three. And then we got Arc W, GPC, Materialize, Sun, W, DLNR, uh, Snap, Nike, Gush. I'm sorry, Stab and Nike and Activision's up two. Gush's are actually up six. And then we got Switchback, ABR, TAN, American Airlines, MAR, Frisker, QCOM, iRobot, uh, Art Q, Pen, AMD, Melly, uh, Philip Morris, BM, RN, BYD, CFG, DHS, all up two dollars. Then we got TWO, Art, uh, CC, IVZ, CIT, LAGT, LYB. Uh, Slack, RF, uh, United Airlines, VTI, NCLH, uh, Under Armour, IVW, Billy, Open Door, SYF, GM, uh, Fizz, uh, Resolve Group, VNQ, Pager Duty, Gun R, uh, Hal, Lee Auto, uh, Uber. These are up a dollar. And then um, the ones that are in between a dollar and, you know, that are up that aren't up a dollar, I'll just name off a few of them like Apple, uh, Wells Fargo, Starbucks. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Amazon, X1, Yums, SPG, uh, JKS, Clorox, TD, uh, Young China, BlackRock, uh, SCHD, uh, Delta Airlines. Then we got um, Virgin Galactic up six dollars. Uh, then we got DraftKings, Store Capital, Disney, ADP, Dan, uh, Cheesecake Factory, Pepsi, uh, Arc F. Johnson & Johnson, iRobot, uh, Docu, Loves, uh, Sun, Wells Fargo, General Mills, Citigroup, uh, Dropbox, Yelp, VEA, LTC, Walgreens, uh, Cisco, BMW, uh, Autodesk, Square, Southern, Electronic Arch, Max R, uh, Callaway Golf, Triple Q, uh, we got PayPal, Spy, Roku, Bank of America, uh, Workhorse. And then we got NIU's up five dollars. SPYD's up a dollar. Uh, then we got Laser R up a dollar. Then we got Savu, T Doc, IBM, Fubu or Fubo, uh, BNKG, uh, T Row, uh, Etsy, Overstock, Unilever. Then we got Tencent up a dollar twenty nine. We got Do PBG. And then some of the losers will be uh, Walmart. These are all up under, they're not even down a dollar. We got Walmart, uh, Twitter, um, MasterCard, Microsoft, Snowflake, uh, Intel, PBA. Um, we got Nikola, we got Chevron, we got another Intel, uh, BYND, Visa, BGS, uh, SIG, PPL, Datadog, Lumen, JNUG, Parker & Gamble. Uh, 3M, we got Main Street, Google, UPS, Netflix, Spotify, Boeing, Costco, uh, Facebook, Realty Income, eBay, Rocket, uh, Stag, Wendy's, uh, Fox, uh, Zoom, Verizon, Altria Group, AT&T, Pfizer, uh, SPYC, we got Lowe's, we got Plantineer, we got General Mills, JD, Duke, uh, Grubhub, um, Whirlpool yeah my biggest loser is uh, Moderna which is down to $9.70 uh, then we got some crypto we got Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash Litecoin, Dogecoin, Ether and Classic and BSV uh, all ranging from $4 we got Bitcoin up $247, Ether is up $257 Bitcoin Cash is up $21 Litecoin is up $177 Dogecoin is up $157 then you got Ether up 21, they got BSV up four, and then here I have uh, swing trades I'm gonna make in a few in uh, let me see in March. These are 472 stocks I got, uh, you know, Overstock, Plug Power. Uh, let me see what else I got that's recognizable on here. Uh, we got Tyson Foods, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, Wells Fargo. We got Pinterest, ED. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Dell, Morgan Stanley, CVS, uh, Redfin, Nintendo, uh, TNA, Philip Morris. 
We got Run, uh, JD, Fazley, AMD, uh, Duke. Some of these I already own in this portfolio, but I don't own another one, so I'm going to swing trade them. Uh, Papa John's and build my position in the other portfolios that I have. Uh, Starbucks, Yum. As you can see, it's a lot, so we'll skip through that. Uh, then we'll look at the stash account. This is the IRA. We got Upwork up 183%. Resolve Groups up 120%. Canopy B Gross up 84%. Real Reels up 115. Uh, Davidia is now up 42 cent. Uh, we got Aero Environment up 40 cent. Uh, Dow's up 39%. US Steel's up 180%. Chico's up 36%. We got Workhorse up 47%. Uh, Jack in the Box up 18%. Haynes Brands, Elf. Uh, you can just look at the percentage gains as I stroll through. Got Quantumscape, Merrick. And then we'll go to the personal side. That was the RA. So we got Baidu up, you know, 87%. Plug Powers up 82%. Blue Chips up 49%. Consumer Comforts up 45%. Uh, Modern Meds up 32%. We got Copy the Experts, Neo, All That Glitters, uh, Bank of Hawaii, uh, Simeon Probon Group, CBS. CBS uh, GM, Tesla, uh, Peloton, Upwork, Under Armour, FUBU TV, Roku, uh, Ford, Autodesk, Bloom Energy. Uh, we got Raw F e ETF. We got CVS. Uh, we got Dell's Open Door, uh, XPEV. We got Lee Auto, Clean and Green. Uh, we got Well Tower. We got uh, Intel. We got Foot Locker, Wells Fargo, Zillow Group. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Can't even say it. Nicola. Uh, we got Ross, Johnson & Johnson, Abby, Cisco, uh, Yelp, Nike, Quadcom, Beyond Meat, uh, Chevron, Honeywell, Starbucks, Costco, Amazon, Alibaba, Wim Resorts, 3M, uh, Stag, Coca-Cola, Slack, AMD, AT&T, Verizon, uh, Visa, Exxon, Big Lots, uh, General Mills, Tattoo Chef, SBE, XL Fleet. Uh, biggest loser is Multiplan Corporation. It's down 34%, down about $11. Um, then we'll go look at the acorns real quick. And these will be the holdings. Uh, we got Alibaba, Tencent. Uh, then we got... We got Wingstop. Stamps.com. Uh, we got Etsy. And my favorite are the, the main stocks here. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, uh, Johnson & Johnson, Brookshire, Halfway, Visa, Procter & Gamble. And then we'll go to Cash App. We got Tesla, Caesar Entertainment, uh, Zoom, Roku, Big Lots, Neo, First Solar, United States Steel, Apple, uh, Broadcom, Nordstrom, Zscaler, Chegg, Virgin Galactic, Discover Financial, Global Blood Therapeutics, United States Oil Fund, Spirit, uh, Boyd Gaming, Brookfield Renewable, L Brands, American International, Walmart, Hilton, Home Depot, Raytheon, Peloton, CBS, Marathon, uh, Ford, Arc Innovation, Carnival, Aflac, Wells Fargo, Square, Grubhub, Uber, Amazon, Lyft, uh, Viasat, GoodRx, uh, DocuSign, BMY, Solar Edge, uh, Southwest Airlines, Anna Hunter Bush, Oracle, Iron Mountain, First Energy, Striker. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Skyworks, Nvidia, Twitter, Kellogg's, UPS, FedEx. Campbell Soup, Sumo Logic, Green Dot, General Electric, Big Commerce. Biggest loser is Vroom, just down 350. Biggest gainer is Tesla's up like a dollar. This is like a $14 investment. It's up $115. And then we'll look at the public account real quick. And we'll go to all time gain. Uh, biggest winner right now is NTLA, is up $68. You got Neo. Uh, TSM, FTS, we got JMOM, Gig, Wiz, 
uh, A Mom, Clean Spark, we got Cloud, we got Rod, SYF, Sun Power, Stag, uh, Pacific Biosciences, uh, TU, we got CrowdStrike, uh, Beyond Meek, Steel Dynamics, Tractor Supply, uh, Dust, Dill. Dil Digital Realty Trust, uh, Art K, Black Rock Taxable, we got Blink, Abbey, Corsair Gaming, Sit Group, uh, Fiverr, uh, BND, Embridge, Pan America Silver, uh, we got Colgate, T Triple Q, uh, GoPro, First Energy. Dave and Buster's, Tilio, Trade Desk, Shopify, uh, Fizz, Alley Financial, Iron Mountain, Iron, Iron um, Mountain, golly, uh, Tapestry, PBA, Royal Bank of Canada, we got Gap, we got Target, we got VEA, NCLH, what else we got yeah and then we'll take a look at Meritrade real quick uh, biggest gainers AJRD of 1933 yeah blink SBE uh, spy D spy VGM Aflac AT&T Walgreens work Plantoneer uh, Exxon Arc F leg pick Twitter MLPN, MP Materials, Lee Auto, Romeo, highly honest, biggest loser down $35. Then we'll look at the Fidelity account real quick. Just like me up. I can see I hold a lot of positions. So uh, some of them I have, a lot of them I have in multiple uh, different brokerages. Here, my biggest gainer right now is SSYS up seven seventy nine. Uh, what else we got that we haven't called out? Uh, J Men, uh, Green Power, uh, Debok. This one has a lot of ETFs in it. Uh, we got Rod GDXU. Uh, biggest loser is highly on down twenty seven dollars. And then lastly, we'll look at M1 Finance. This is going to be 100 shares. Um, the biggest gain here right now is Canopy Growth up $28.45. We got PPL, uh, PSTH. Uh, we got Bank of America. A lot of these I've already called out. SCHH. See if I have anything else. I don't want to call out these like uh, ETFs. Too many, too many letters for these tickers. We got Riot, Vega, uh, Gunnar, CWS. yeah that'll be the uh, m1 portfolio so yeah guys that'll be all the brokerages that i put on this channel as you can see i have other brokerages well we'll look at etoro real quick i guess we just got some bitcoin and some uh tezos some etx bitcoin's up pretty nicely uh up you know 97 dollars xtx is finally making a comeback it's been in the red for so long it was down like 80 bucks at one point well not 80 bucks but I can't remember the exact number, but it's been down. Uh, right now, I'm up $94, total equity of 188 As you see, I have uh, other brokerages that I do not put on this channel, like my E-Trade, my Fundrise, my Diversity Fund, Wealthfront. I use Crypto.com, Coinbase, Edward Jones, Thing or Swim, BlockFi. Um, and, of course, I do have some private accounts through Fidelity with my long-term accounts that I've been into for about a decade. Those accounts I really don't touch. They're kind of boring. Um, they do have massive gains. I do display them. You know every now and again on social media but uh 
they're mostly just private accounts that uh you know i kind of hold hold you know on a different standard from these house money trades but yeah um i can't tell you how much i'm up on profit because i didn't calculate it but over this last six months i have profited over twelve and a half thousand dollars so out of the forty one thousand dollars i got in the market right now i don't really i can't really tell you exactly how much i profited you know but i will update you guys with a video if you like this content hit the like button sub you know hit that bell i'd really appreciate it i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you